friends. I am Sandy if you are new here and I wanted to share my latest journal I am working on. This is an Alice in Wonderland journal. So this is the cover so far. On the cover, what I um, am planning on doing is I'll put my uh, corner protectors on here and then I think I'm going to put a nameplate right here um, on this one. So that's kind of where I'm going with the cover, I believe. And then I have three signatures that I'm working on in here. And here's the first one, the second one, and the third one. And I'll show you a few of the pockets and things that I've done thus far. I haven't sewn these in yet because I want to do some sewing around these edges. And then I wanted to show you I am using uh, digitals from Sweet Pea Curiosities over on Etsy. And you can also follow her on Instagram. And these are just some really cute digital um, Alice in Wonderland files that she has. And then I have some vintage books that I am using. I have um, some book book pages out of this book. And then I also have book pages out of this book. And the um, aging on the pages <clears throat> are just beautiful. I also have this other Alice in Wonderland book. And so I've taken some pages from that as well. And so this is from um, that uh, this book here. And I've uh, tore this out and inked up an envelope and put that on there. And then this side of the envelope, I've done a uh, side tuck and I have this rice paper um, image that I am going to be putting onto this avocado dyed index card. I love the colors that this paper pad had. Um, and the paper pad is from... wildflower and I think I got this at Michael's I'm pretty sure and then I have some more avocado dyed paper and I have some uh, vintage uh, graph paper and then I've done a triple pocket and here's another one of the sweet pea curiosity tags and then I have um, a belly band that I put here. And that's another one of her digital files. And I'm going to sew along this. And then I'm going to put <clears throat> another book page on this white uh, paper. And then um, I'm thinking about doing a altered playing card here as a flip out. And Queen of Hearts, I thought that was appropriate. And then here's another corner tuck from that digital kit. And here's another tag from the digital kit and then a side pocket. And then I have some vintage ledger paper. And then I love this, this beautiful uh, page for the center fold out. And I might do a corner tuck there. And then here's the back side of this uh, first signature. I've done an, a top corner tuck. Um, probably some more book page there and then I have a pocket and I'm going to put some book page to cover up that white one probably do a top tuck here um, another flip out on this page and then adding this music page paper onto this side and I'll probably do some collaging on top of that and then another top right tuck from the digital kit and then I'll decorate up this side of the envelope pocket. You can store stuff in there. And I love 
love this vintage school paper. And then I will uh, probably cover this up similar to what I did on this side um, with some book page to get rid of the white there. So I've um, made some good progress there on the first signature. And I have similar work to do on um, the second and third signature. And I do want to just show you real quickly that digital kit also has some pages. And so I have one in this signature. And you just print one page on one side and then the other page on the other side. And so here's this side of it. And then there's the back side. And I just love the reds with this um, scrapbook paper. I think it's so pretty. And then I like this um, this cat, Cheshire cat, with that page. Um, and then there was one more. Here it is. And then this one here, just uh, the purples and everything are, are really pretty. And here you can do journaling on this side. And then here's the back side of that. And then the back side of that. I like the avocado dyed paper in conjunction with that. And then I've added some of my inked, my own inked papers um, in this um, journal as well as the vintage items. And then the third signature. <clears throat> I have another um, one of my inked pages here. And you can see I put little notes of what I want to do. Like I want to do a fold out on this page, top corner, and I love the blues on this page. I think they're so pretty. And then here's um, another corner tuck from that digital kit. And then um, another envelope pocket. And so I will give you some updates as I um, make some more progress and then this vintage ledger paper. But I uh, just wanted to hop on and kind of show you my latest project and talk about, let y'all know about these digital files from Sweet Pea Curiosity. Here are some of the other items that I have printed out so far from this kit. I have another tag here, some just little round circle cuts, and then here's some envelopes, which I think are really fun. So I'll be putting those in a lot of the different tuck spots. And then there's also these pockets, ready-made pockets. And I'll be adding those in as well. And then we have some different little journaling cards in different sizes and some tags here. So, um, yeah, as I decorate the journal, I'll kind of decide what I want to put where. Here's another fun tag. So, yeah, it's a really cute digital kit. And she has tons of kits out there, so I would invite you to check them out. Um, here's another journaling tag, the mushroom, and then here's some tiny little envelopes, which I think are really neat too. Um, you can put those on a page or, you know, tuck them in a little tiny um, pocket. So... Anyway, I um, really like this kit and I'm super excited how this journal is coming together. And like I said, as I um, get more done, I will give you some updates and kind of walk you through some of my uh, decorating decisions and things like that. All right, well, you all have a great rest of your day. And uh, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all on the next video.